hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video we'll talk about recursive methods in java so we'll answer some important questions why we need to know about recursive what are the problems that is better to solve in or using recursive methods and what is the difference between recursive method and iterative methods that you used to work with so let's start first what is the advantage of using recursive and before we get into this let's define what is a recursive method the recursive method is like any other method but the difference is that this method is calling itself so this will cause some kind of repetition so without using a for loop or any kind of counters it will call itself so this is a recursion so what is the advantage of of using recursive some problems are very hard to be implemented in a regular methods and an iterative method it will take long and will be very complicated to do that an example of this is the tower of hanoi a game that you can see here on my screen so this is a game that you can solve it in either way iterative method the regular methods or you can solve it using recursive method. Here we want to move all of these disks from uh, the first tower to the destination tower to the third tower, let's say, with some rules that this game has. But we'll go into this in details in next video. But for now, this is a good example to use a recursive method. Otherwise, we can do it in another way, but it will be very long very complicated and this is one of the things there are many other examples to use recursive methods to solve some complicated problems so that's why we need the recursive method so what is the recursive method as you can see here it's the process of solving a problem by reducing the the problem itself so uh, that means we will work on a problem and subdivide this problem into smaller problems as as you can see here this is the smallest problem in the game tower of Hanoi so here we have just one disk and this is a simple one if we want to move it to the destination tower let's say C right away move it from A to C and we are done here is the thing so we, we started with uh, three disks and then we can reduce the problem into smaller problems two disks and smaller one disk and so on so each round the method is reducing the size of the problem and we are approaching to the starting of solving the problem so this is the thing here with recursive method we have two main things that we need to take care of them one is to find a base case so what is the base case the base case is the smallest instance of the problem in our example the tower of hanoi the smallest one is we have just one disk so this is the base case if we have the base case if you have just one disk then the problem is easy there is no more calculations needed just we want to do one step is to move the disk from the source to the destination tower and that's it we are done so this is very important it's essential to know the base case of the problem for sure for each problem there is a different base case so again the base case is the smallest instance of the problem that cannot be decomposed any further right so it's the smallest and uh, we have more examples that we'll cover in the coming videos so and for now let's focus on these two parts of any recursive method you have to satisfy these two things the base case is the simplest case of your problem that you cannot decompose any more and the second thing is to recursive the function to call the function itself recursive it's called recursive step here by the end of the method you need to call the method again right but now you need to call it with uh, the sub problem with a smaller problem so let's say we started with three disks now three disks 
we cannot solve it it's not matching the base case the function the method will call itself but now with smaller problem can you tell what is the smaller problem than three disks let me hear from you write this down in the comment section okay so the answer is we have two disks now let's call the method again and in this case we will have two disks and then we'll reduce the problem into one disk one disk is matching the base case that we started with you remember that so that's why we are approaching and this is the starting point when we reach the base case the starting point of solving the problem as you know that some problems will be harder to be solved using iterative methods and other problems can be uh, easier to be implemented in an iterative way so uh, it's based on the problem the scenario and what you want to do well the second thing that you have to put in your mind is by taking care of finding the base case which is the smallest instance of the problem and then calling the method itself technique or recursive methods let's go and uh, work on an example to uh, to make it easier but before i finish this video let me tell you that and answer another question come in a question which one is better if we can use both of the methods so if you can solve the method in an iterative way in a simple and easy and it's not complicated go for it go for iterative way because recursion will cause an overhead and more com more memory required to solve the problem and more complexity on the compiler and on the system so uh, that's why we need to think of using the iterative otherwise if you feel that this problem is hard to be implemented using iterative then go for the recursive method so don't forget to subscribe to receive the coming videos that will talk about some examples how to solve and to implement the recursive method thank you and see you in the next video goodbye